Hey everybody, here I am with a Windows 95 OSR 2.5 virtual machine I got up and running in VMware. For those of you who don't know what Windows 95 OSR 2.5 is, it's also known as version C for those of But OSR really stands for OEM Service Release and OSR, the only difference between version B and version C, version B would be known as OSR 2.0, then you have OSR 2.1 which adds USB support but this adds additional USB support but one thing that OSR 2.5 comes bundled with is Internet Explorer 4.0 and of course I'm going to show you that I'm running OSR 2.5 and one thing interesting though it, it still has Internet Explorer 4 not Internet Explorer, Internet Explorer 3.0 but I'm going to show you a method on how to get Internet Explorer 4 installed in Windows 95 version C. So let me open up my CAD files that I have copied over to the hard drive from the Windows 95 disk. Let's locate the IE setup. We're just going to do a normal insult. So with that being said, so we are making progress. And what we're talking about in this video is basically Windows 95 version C doesn't have IE4 installed or Windows 95 OS or 2.5 doesn't have IE4 installed on the clean on a clean install but hopefully that'll change and plus you're gonna have to have a later version of IE anyway for Windows 95 to run certain programs that require a later version And with this little process, you want to go ahead and give it some time. And normally with the default installation of Windows 95 OSR 2.5, you have the uh, an installer that pops up ready to install IE4, part of the Windows 95 setup which automatically installs the Windows desktop update so with that being said I'm going to go ahead and let these files let this installer do its thing and I'll be right back well method one the installer that came with the um, Windows 95 cap files had hung at 78% so I had to do a full control alt delete so go ahead and log it back in so, so far we got the uh, active desktop because many people prefer they want the um, Reason want the, the reason why they want the active desktop is for the uh, quick launch bar and to install pro certain programs that require Internet Explorer. But even though IE4 can be very buggy, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and we're going to go and in install IE5.5 to as a bonus in this video. Seems like we're running into an error message. But if it, what we're going to do is we're going to attempt to try the Service Pack 2 update for IE4.
Then we're just gonna do a normal installation like we normally do. And this is what I'll do for method number two. If the uh, default installer that came with the Windows 95 disk don't install. That's kind of weird look that it changed the, I the Internet Explorer icon, but... But we're going to fix that once we... Uh, do a full... Inst when we do IE5. And plus it'll be a, you'll be able to install a newer version of real player. So let me go ahead and run the IE5 install point five installer. So there we go. And we're gonna do a full install too. Or you can just do your typical install if you want. But I'm gonna do a full because I don't really care because it's a virtual machine. And this will even add a lot of improvements to the integrated IE shell in Windows Explorer. Since we logged back in, most of your programs like desktop themes should work if you got the plus pack. But I gotta fix, see what the issue is with the uh, desktop wallpapers, but it's no big deal though. It's no really need because it's a virtual machine like I've mentioned. And I'm going to go ahead and install a real player to replace the one that comes with it. the IE4. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video for you guys and hope this little fix helps you out if you're trying to install IE4 into Windows 95 OS R2.5. And thanks for watching.